On this episode of Sex with Susie, we're going to talk about hand jobs. And we're not just talking about hand jobs for penises, we're going to be talking about hand jobs for vaginas because we are equal opportunity that way. So stick around, that's what we're going to talk about today. So we're not going to talk about like hand jobs for him or hand jobs for her because let's face it, gender is not really a binary and not everybody who identifies as male has a penis and not everybody that identifies as female has a vagina. So I'll be referring to hand jobs for a particular genitalia set uh, and whichever applies to you and your partner is the one that you can kind of pay more attention to. For people who are a little bit less experienced with sex, hand jobs can be kind of a great way to start exploring your sexuality with other people. It's not quite as intense of a commitment as penetrative sex can be, and it's a really great way to start figuring out how other people's bodies work. Okay, so first we'll talk a little bit about kind of the anatomy of a vagina. The labia majora, the labia minora, the clitoris, and then like the actual vagina. The whole thing together is called a vulva. And the vagina is actually like the part that you can like enter into. And every part of the vagina or the vulva is sensitive. And before you kind of get straight into like penetrating the vagina with hands and fingers and whatever, um, you want to spend some time kind of warming it up. The vagina itself will produce its own lubrication when sexually aroused, which is helpful when it comes to like actual vaginal penetration or spending very much time kind of working with the clitoris. But another great thing about spending some time kind of getting your partner aroused is this rad thing called vaginal tenting. Um, when a vagina is like not sexually aroused, it's pretty small. It's only like three to four inches long and it's fully collapsed. As the person with the vagina gets more aroused, the uterus actually like lifts up on the vagina, elongating it, and it gets to like four to seven inches long and kind of opens up a little bit, which makes any kind of penetration, whether it's with a toy or a penis or your fingers for a hand job, um, a lot easier. So you definitely want to spend some time playing with your partner's vagina and making sure that you get them nice and aroused before you attempt to insert anything into the vagina. So once the vagina is fully aroused, uh, now is when we can kind of start having a little bit more fun with it. So most people with vaginas need direct clitoral stimulation to achieve an orgasm. Some people can orgasm through the, vag the vagina only, but some of the best orgasms come from like a combo of vaginal stimulation and clitoral stimulation. So that can kind of be your goal. And neither one of them should have very much attention paid to them without being properly lubricated. It can get kind of painful. So make sure, like I said before, you've kind of got that going on. You can use your fingers to stimulate the clitoris. Different people like different amounts of stimulation, different amounts of pressure, different like rhythms and rates. So it's important to communicate between partners um, what it is you like, what feels good, um, what's gonna kind of make you happy. And then as far as penetration of the vagina with your fingers, jackhammer motion, not good, like ever. So don't do that. Kind of a better way of stimulating the inside of a vagina is to use your fingers to kind of stroke the top part of the vagina. That area is very sensitive. It kind of like butts up right against the back of the clitoris. So if you're stimulating the clitoris from the front and kind of whooshing at it from within the vagina, it's a really good feeling. Most people can achieve a pretty good orgasm that way. All right, so now we're gonna talk about penises. We'll go over a little bit of penis anatomy as well. The head of the penis uh, and the frenulum, these are like kind of the areas that actually have the most nerve endings, so keep that in mind. Then of course the base of the penis and the testicles or balls, whatever you wanna call them, which is kind of encased in the scrotum. And that's a very sensitive area as well. And also like with vaginal hand jobs, you're going to want to make sure that the penis is properly lubricated. Side note, the little bit of fluid that comes out of the penis that's often called like the pre-cum or like pre-seminal fluid does not count as lubrication. It's just a really small amount. It's very sticky um, and it's really only meant to kind of clear out the urethra of any urine. So that doesn't really count as your lube. You're definitely going to want to have something with you to stimulate the penis with. Kind of classic hand job motion is just like the up and down stroking of the penis, which is great and should definitely be incorporated into 
your hand job, but it's not the only motion that the penis enjoys. You can do all sorts of fun things. Twisting motions are great. Focusing on like one direction at a time. Have fun and explore. Don't just get caught up in like just the one this kind of motion. And then you want to incorporate like all parts of your partner. So getting the scrotum and the balls involved feel really nice. Like I mentioned before, they can be really sensitive. A lot of the nerve endings in the penis are focused more towards the head of the penis. So that's kind of an area that you maybe want to focus on more than focusing on say like the base of the penis. But different people have different levels of sensitivity. Um, and kind of like with the vaginas, you want to communicate with your partner what feels good for them. Um, different rates, different pressures, and sometimes playing around with those rates and pressures throughout the hand job experience can kind of lead to different good um, stimulations. If it's something that you and your partner are both into and your partner consents to this and you should really make sure you check in with them before you ever try this, you can stick a finger in your partner's anus and massage the prostate. The prostate is very sensitive and can lead to like very heightened orgasms um, for people with penises and prostates. That's kind of like your basic hand job for penises. So you may be saying to yourself, but Susie, you really didn't tell me how to give an amazing hand job. And I would say to you, I gave you some basics because what you really need to do is communicate with your partner what it is that they like. There is no like one size fits all trick to an amazing hand job. And I would Probably say just for like great sex in general requires a lot of communication. Everybody's body works a little bit differently. No two bodies work the same way. And it's important to keep an open mind and be willing to try new things and to really have that communication between partners. And for the person who's on the receiving end, not feel like you can't say what it is that you want. And for the person on the giving end, don't feel like having your partner tell you like what to change up or what they need is any kind of reflection on your sex skills or like how you are in bed at all. Um, that communication is really important and the more you learn about each other's bodies like the better your sex is going to be in general and that's definitely true with hand jobs as well. Okay so now I want to spend a little bit of time talking about the role of hand jobs in sex. It's not just like a consolation prize for intercourse or blowjobs it's like its own Fun, special thing. As far as people being like a little bit less sexually experienced or maybe you haven't had any kind of like penetrative sex, it's you know a great way to start kind of like discovering yourself as a sexual being. Um, definitely want to make sure that like everybody involved in like early sex stuff is consensual and all of that kind of stuff obviously but if it is like that part like time in your life where you're just starting to kind of like figure out yourself as a sexual person with another person Hand jobs can be like a really great way to kind of start out without like emotional stuff that kind of goes with penetrative sex, which isn't to say that like hand jobs shouldn't be taken seriously. Any kind of sexual activity should be taken seriously and it definitely like changes your relationships with people and something you really need to make sure that you as a person are ready for. But it can definitely be like a beginning point for that, that part of discovery of yourself. And then as far as like people who are sexually experienced, hand jobs can be just like a means to their own end, like let's just rub one out, it's great. <laughs> or it can be uh, incorporated into like a bigger picture of like a sexual experience together. It doesn't have to be, you know, just the hand job. It can be hand jobs that lead to intercourse, hand jobs that lead to blow jobs ones that just kind of like fit in in the middle. As far as like reaching orgasm for people who have vaginas, like it's often like the only way that people with vaginas can orgasm is to have that kind of like very specialized um, stimulation. And for people with penises, like sometimes you just need a little extra attention paid to the penis to like make sure that it's fully aroused to kind of get everything else going. And there's Absolutely no shame in that. And they're just a lot of fun. Kind of the other rad thing that I like about hand jobs is that it kind of allows for like switching up power dynamics in sexual relationships. The person who maybe is like the less dominating one or like if you're thinking about like tops and bottoms, like maybe the person who's like not often the top can be a little bit more like the top with a hand job. And it just allows you to like have a little bit more fun or play with those kinds of dynamics. So it's not just like uh, hand jobs, it's not as great as other kinds of sex. Some people feel that way and some people don't, but I feel like it doesn't have to be that way. Like you can really have a lot of fun 
um, and incorporate it into your sex fun times. All forms of sex are fun. They should all be explored. Thanks for watching. I hope that you found that helpful. Um, and just to kind of let you guys know that these videos are really like here for me to answer your questions and talk to you. Um, so any kind of questions or comments that you have, I am happy to receive. You can tweet at me if you're on Twitter. I'm at Suzy C or ask me questions on my ask.fm, which is ask.fm slash ask Suzy um, or leave comments here on the YouTube page. Um, but I'm super happy to hear from you. Sex, sex, sex.